Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern HealthSpan. Today, we'll look at a randomized placebo-controlled clinical trial of three new simple interventions, which, when used together, reduce the risk of cancer by 61%. Apart from not smoking, not much attention has been paid to cancer prevention, where most of the attention is on screening. So in this study, they picked three interventions for which there was some evidence of cancer prevention, although not rigorous clinical data. So let's have a look at the paper in more detail. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper. Combined vitamin D, omega-3 fatty acids, and a simple home exercise program may reduce cancer risk among active adults aged 70 and older, a randomized clinical trial. The objective was to test the impact of these three simple interventions individually and combined on the risk of cancer. The trial called Do Health lasted three years was multi-center and used a two by two by two factorial design in a randomized double blind controlled trial to look at the individual and combined benefits of the interventions. It was conducted in five countries across Europe, Switzerland, Germany, Austria, France, and Portugal from December, 2012 to December, 2017. The participants were community dwelling, healthy adults over 70. The interventions were 2,000 IU of vitamin D3, one gram of omega-3, and a simple home strength exercise program. The primary outcome was whether there was any verified invasive cancer. There were 2,157 participants, so a good-sized cohort, of which 61.7% were women. During the three-year follow-up, 81 cancers were diagnosed and verified. We will look at the results in detail later, but when all three interventions were combined, the hazard ratio was 0.39, so a 61% less risk. The conclusion was that the intervention did help reduce cancer in the over 70s. Why did they pick these three interventions? Vitamin D has been shown to inhibit the growth of cancer cells by regulating genes responsible for cell proliferation and differentiation and vitamin D blood levels are inversely related to total cancer risk. However, clinical trials have had mixed results with no overall benefit in terms of cancer prevention shown. Omega-3 may inhibit cancer by suppression of inflammation, cell proliferation, and angiogenesis. But again, cohort studies and a meta-analysis showed no clear benefit in terms of cancer risk. And finally, exercise has been shown to reduce inflammation and improve immune function. And observational studies show a correlation between higher physical activity and reduced cancer risk. However, there has not been any clinical trials on exercise and cancer risk. So all three have potential to reduce cancer risk, but the evidence for this was not clear. There were eight groups which covered all the combinations. Here are the groups diagrammatically shown, where a tick in a green box means the intervention and an X in a yellow box means placebo. The omega-3 had an EPA to DHA ratio of 1 to 2. You may wonder how there can be double-blind exercise programs. So the way they did this was for everyone to exercise, but the control group were doing flexibility exercises, while the treatment group were doing a set of strength exercises. Here are the results. But first, what is a hazard ratio? A hazard ratio is the chances of something having occurred in one group at any particular time, say the treatment group, divided by the chance of it happening in another group, the control group. So a hazard ratio of 1 means there was no effect, and a hazard ratio of 0 0.5 means that the event is half as likely to have happened. The group with all three treatments was compared against the group that had all three placebos. We can see that the hazard ratio is 0.39, so a 61% reduction in the risk of cancer. They also looked at the hazard ratios for individual cancers, such as prostate, colorectal, and breast, but the number of incidents were small, so it was difficult to draw conclusions from the results. 
Their conclusion is that the trial showed that the three interventions, vitamin D3 and omega-3 supplementation and exercise may be effective in the prevention of cancer in healthy adults over 70. In the limitations, they mention that more participants over a longer period would be good, but it is good to see a randomized clinical trial with a reasonable number of participants and three simple affordable interventions. Also, the interventions being tried in different combinations to show that they are additive is really helpful. All in all, I thought this was a very interesting trial 